Mr. Toaster here. <laughs> Have you heard the good news? Now there's a great new video series from the producers of McGee and Me. Mm, like a secret adventure? That's right, Rebecca. And the crowds are going wild. You'll meet my friend Drea Thomas, the most imaginative babysitter since Mary Poppins. And boy, does she get into some exciting adventures. Through her imagination, Dre and the kid she babysits become cartoon versions of themselves, both under the sea and in the air, while learning important biblical lessons in wonderfully fast-paced adventures. Oh, this is getting good. Yeah. You said it, George. And things get pretty hectic with her around. But everybody loves Dre and Thomas. I hate you, Dre and Thomas. Well, except our arch-rival Arlene. But you'll probably want to watch all our great mini-movies to find that out. Drea's seventh grade class selection takes on a new spin as she and Arlene tangle for class president. Ta-da! No one will vote for you, you know. You'll be embarrassed in front of the whole school. Them fighting words. And Dad's tuba sonata hits a sour note over some missing music. Has uh, anybody seen a stack of my composition sheets? No. Uh, nope. Needless to say, Drea learns the secrets of truth, tubas, and George Washington. What would George Washington say if he caught this? Drea's party plans are gone in a snap as she has to babysit Matt and Rebecca. I'm responsible for these kids all weekend. Of course, throw in Floyd the dog, who lends a paw with the Thomas's remodeling, and watch out as Drea finds the true meaning of responsibility. Ow! And how to act like a responsible, almost adult. The extracurricular activities at Drea's school smash when funds are zapped, and it's up to our heroes to find a solution. I just heard your scheme to raise thousands of dollars is to win a radio contest. It's so you. Sometimes she really burns me. Along the way, everyone learns that sometimes cooperation isn't all it's spelled out to be. You just don't know how to spell astronaut. Do who? Do not. Two. Not two. And Drea discovers how to survive junior high by really trying. Help us win the Codebuster contest. Plans for a big Christmas hit a snag when Matt and Rebecca want too much, Mrs. Long has too little, and the Thomas family decides that less is more. Then, of course, Arlene has her own plans for the holiday. Drea Thomas, I'm going to make this your most miserable Christmas ever. But it's not long before Dre is caring, has everyone dreaming of a right Christmas. If great stories, terrific animation, and uh, <clears throat> swell toasters aren't enough, as an added bonus, each episode is also filled with great music. So hurry and take home all of these great secret adventures today. They're really hot! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Personal grandpa, but I am sick of weeding. Hmm? I'll pull weeds for a while. You'll pick up snails. Ew. No thanks. <laughs> you know, if we could train the snails to pull out the weeds, then we wouldn't have to worry about the garden at all. <clears throat> nice try, Drea. Only well, the snails aren't responsible for this garden. We are. You know, it seems like the older I get, the more responsibilities I'm stuck with. I have to keep up my room, doing piles of homework, babysitting. Look at it this way, Drea. You only get responsibility when someone trusts you. From everyone who's been given much, much more will be demanded. And from one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Yeah, that sounds like a sermon from Great Grandpa Thomas. Yeah, it was. He was always telling us that caring for a garden was good training for life. You can't just weed every now and then takes a whole season of responsibility. 
to make a garden bloom. <laughs> so you mean, if I'm responsible for these tomatoes, maybe someday I can move up to asparagus? <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> you get it? That's very corny, Grandpa. Yeah. Maybe we better leave <clears throat> before these puns get much worse. That's a very responsible idea. <laughs> Great vest that'll be perfect for tomorrow night's movie at the mall. My weekend shifts into high gear moments from now when Kimberly and I attend the birthday party of the year at Kristen Canner's house, where, as usual, I'll make an absolutely ravishing entrance. Gorgeous. Come on, let's jet. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Woo! Hurry up. Chanel's mom is going to pick us up any second. I got to say goodbye to mom and dad. Okay, fine. Mom, we're gone. Hey, don't you want to stick around and help redecorate the dining room with your swell parents? Dad, be real. That's very funny, Mr. Thomas. Well, we do have a couple extra paint smocks if you girls would like to really paint the town. <laughs> well, Mom, it's a tough choice, but we're out of here. Mm. Too bad. They don't know what they're missing. That's for sure. Hey, hey, I just said he's clean. Did anybody ever tell your parents are weird? I think you mentioned it once or twice. I just can't wait till somebody we know gets their license. I mean, then we don't have to always ask one of our moms to pick us up. Mrs. Long? Perfect timing. Here they are, ready for a weekend with their favorite babysitter. Okay, guys. It's this weekend, not next weekend. Oh, no. Dre, is something wrong? Um, uh, no, Mrs. Long. Everything's just fine. Yeah, everything's great. Yeah, it's gonna be a howl. <laughs> uh, uh, nice to see you too, Floyd. Floyd's really excited to be here. He hates the kennel. But he loves you, Drea. Can't imagine why. Okay, here's the hotel in Philadelphia where the uh, school principal's conference is being held. Drea, thanks a million. Now, Matt, Rebecca, remember, Floyd is your responsibility. Okay? Matt, where's Floyd's duffel bag? Floyd has a duffel bag? It's all here. Floyd's ball, Floyd's food, Floyd's blown in, Floyd's pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta run. I'll see you guys on Sunday, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. That's Chanel and her mom. You have to come now. Kimberly, I can't go. You guys want to go take your stuff upstairs? Can Floyd come too? Only in my room. Look, let me get this straight. This is the most incredible weekend of our lives, and you are going to spend it with two rug rats, a giant drooling mop with paws, and, and a dorky plastic pig? <laughs> I guess so. There has got to be a way out of this. Have the kids go to sleep early. 
Kimberly, it's only 7 o'clock. Here. Give this to Kristen for me. I'll see you on Monday. I'm responsible for these kids all weekend. You have a responsibility to your friends, too, you know. Don't you read the latest research? What are you talking about? Teenagers today are supposed to be totally self-centered and, and self-absorbed. Adults expect this of us. But you just can't go around being responsible, especially with the principal's kids. This is going to cause a lot of grief for the rest of us who are completely and happily irresponsible. Thanks a lot. Primer, first coat, second coat. Ooh, there's a base coat. It's gonna be a long weekend. Longer than you know. I didn't know Kimberly could bark. Hey, Mom, you remember when you said I can babysit the long kids over the weekend? I thought that was next weekend. So did I. I also forgot about Floyd. Ah, the barker. Remind me again, how big is Floyd? Oh, he's just a little taller than Matt. Hmm. Well, just keep everybody out of the dining room. Okay, honey? Thanks, Mom. Make yourself at home. inside the house, okay? So what are we going to do this weekend? How about the zoo? The park. Well, maybe a nature walk. <gasps> Don't say the W word around Floyd. What, you mean walk? It Whoa. makes him crazy. He's very sensitive, you know. Okay. Well, we'll plan something fun to do in the morning. Why don't you guys go get ready for your bath? Uh, what did I say? What did I say? The B word! Secure all messes and walk off the stairs. It sounds like they're having a blast up there. Remember when Drea was that age? She used to play in a room like that for hours. Yeah, she made just as much noise, only she'd do it all by herself. Floyd, stop! I wonder where she gets that wild imagination of hers. Maybe from her mother, who imagines that this entire dining room will be finished by Monday. Just watch it, Busty. You're talking to a woman with a loaded paint roller. Oh. Oh, no, 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 supposed to be? It's Floyd. It looks like a tree tripping over a pair of scissors. So what'd you think? Very cool, Drea. Can you make a giant Ultrasaurus fight a Stegosaurus? He's in Dinosaurs. 
Uh, that's pretty complicated, Matt. I think it's time for bed. Did everybody say their prayers? I said mine. I prayed that Floyd would be safe outside tonight. Oh, Matt, he'll be fine. You don't need to worry about him. Good night. Good night. night. I'll have to get more paper at the hardware store in the morning. More paint, more paste, new brush. Oh, poor thing. Uh, it's all right, I'll survive. Oh, all right, dog. Oh, he looks so sad out there. Not half as sad as our dining room looks. Sorry, Floyd, you're gonna have to spend the night outside, fella. Good night. Floyd, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Floyd. about the mess last night. I'll pay for the damage on my baby's anyway, okay? Oh, well, don't worry about it, honey. Sometimes these things just happen. Luckily, your father always liked me in green. We're going to the store to restock the supplies for our next assault on the dining room renovation. Come on, Lori. Hold the fort, kids. Hi. We shall return. So what do you guys want for breakfast? Pancakes. Waffles. Pancakes. Waffles. Eggs and toast. You guys set the table. OK. So what's on the social calendar today? I don't know. Got any suggestions? Well, let's see. Oh, the automatic toaster is 75 years old this year. And I hear there is quite an anniversary bash at the Charles Strite Museum. Well, he invented the electric toaster, you know. Are you unplugged? We need something that's exciting for humans. Huh. Get him! Oh! I'm gonna find you guys. Come on, Drea! They're behind the milk! Behind the milk! Gotcha! Crap! Floyd, Floyd, he's gone. What? Floyd, Floyd's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Alright. Come on, let's go. My friend George said he'll help us look for Floyd. He's gonna ride over on his bike. Wait a minute, where's Matt? With you, isn't he? I thought he was with you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
She probably went to find Floyd. Great, just great. Yeah, now you've lost Floyd and Matt. Let's not panic. You couldn't have gone very far. Hi. Hi. Okay, remember when we told you we lost the dog? Mm -hmm. Well, we lost Matt, too. I don't know where he went, so you check this way and we'll check that way. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, George. Yeah, sure. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah. Bye. adventure coming on. I don't know about this. What if I get flea? <laughs> I knew it. Hey, Scat. I smell a cat. How am I supposed to chase a cat with these legs? Now remember, guys, this is a scientific experiment. We have to take this very seriously. Look! Babies! I love babies! Hey, get away! Shoo! Oh, I hope they don't have fleas. We didn't mean anything. We just wanted to see the babies. They treated us like dogs. I wonder if that's how Floyd feels. Super Beagle to rescue! 
tonight. You certainly earned it. I'll catch him. Thanks. been there. There were some great vests. I know, but I did the right thing by not going. <sighs> yeah, I know, but just don't pass it around, okay? <laughs> Kimberly, hello again. <laughs> this is long. Deja vu or what? <laughs> Matt, Rebecca, your mom's here. I saw this in the boutique at the hotel and I thought it would look perfect on you, so it's just a little extra thank you for giving up your weekend to help me. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, that's a great vest. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Long. It's oh, beautiful. No. Hey. Hey, Mom. Hey, hi. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, Matt, go and tie Floyd and then come back here and say goodbye to Drea. And you, I want you to pack up your things, okay? Okay. See you, Squeaky. <laughs> So, Kimberly, what's new in your life? Hmm. Oh, I know. My parents might take me to England this summer. Hmm. My dad is doing research somewhere there. I don't remember the name. London? No. Stratford on Avon? No. I think it has something to do with the Romans. Oh, I know. Bad. <gasps> Somewhere in France. How's it look to you? They don't look so beautiful, I almost hate to pick them. But I guess that's part of being responsible, too, huh? 
I think you're going to make a very good gardener, Andrea. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> that was the fun part. That's <laughs> the beautiful. Oh. <sighs>